it's like Kuchinidi doesn't like me. That's the comment that's coming out uh, from the mouth of Ademola Lukman. Of course, uh, you know, as I mentioned in the last video, a number of players are not very happy the fact that uh, Coach Finidi did not really use, utilize them in these uh, two friendlies that were just concluded. Lukman is one of those players that we talked about, at least five players who were not very happy. And for Lukman, it feels that it might be something personal with him that the coach doesn't really like his face very much which is why you know he wasn't uh given enough time Lukman felt in himself you know after the interview uh he, he said that he thought he should have at least started one of the games but of course uh, you know none of them he didn't start any of them in the ghana game he actually came as a sub to score uh the goal which later became the winning goal and of course against mali he made a cameo which was just about 17 minutes but of course, I'm not going to waste much time about Coach Finidi's, uh the issue with surrounding whether he's suitable for Nigerian Spigo's uh, job. Of course, I talked about that in the previous video. But again, you know, lots of divided uh, attention or lots of divided preferences or choices for our players. Our players, you know, the players, of course, that uh, are invited into the national team. Not, not, not even about the ex-internationals because... There are voices coming out from everywhere, ex-internationals, former Finidi teammates, you know, the legends of Nigerian football, all of them bringing in their opinions. Some are like, okay, Finidi should be the man to take the job. Some are like, uh, you know, we have to look for a more appropriate person. So like Taribo West said that. Uh, but of course, uh, I'm just going to let that one pass and give you the main update for this video, guys. And of course, uh, the main update uh, is the fact that Calvin Bassi, uh, who actually had to leave camp, the Super Eagles camp, because of injury and, you know, flown to uh, Fulham for more treatment. He is now declared fit by his uh, crop side, Fulham, and is ready to, you know, make appearance uh, this weekend. He and Iwobi, of course, Iwobi didn't have injury issues. Iwobi was all true uh, during the international break with Nigerian Super Eagles. But, of course, Kevin Basil left camp early, as well as uh, Frank Onyeka, also had a, a bit of an injury issue he had to be flown out of uh, the marrakesh and morocco camp to join a uh, brentford uh, uh, city uh, medical team where he was also treated but right now the update is that these two of our players are now ready to play uh, in this weekend's game for their different club sites so kevin bassi has now been declared fit to face uh, sheffield united uh, this uh, weekend he and he will be of course and of course they're going to uh, team up with the team 4 p.m is the, the time for their game and it's definitely going to be one to look forward you know for an Andreas by goes and aside from uh, Kevin Bassi you know we also have Frank Oneka who's going to uh, be ready to play Manchester United uh, this weekend as well uh, Saturday 9 p.m. Crunch die is definitely a pivotal figure in that team, and they would definitely want to have him in that squad. So both of them are very ready for this game. Let's see how this one turns out, guys. How this just kind of makes you wonder, you know, um, how they, why they had to leave the camp. Although I know that okay, the arrangement is, you know, if some if these players have slight issue in terms of maybe injury or knock. Their club side already agreed with the national team NFL that they have to be sent back so that they don't worsen their injury case. But sometimes when you look at what's happening, you feel that sometimes these injuries are not really injuries, you know, uh, because, uh, I mean, it's just only a matter of three days. When did we play our last game against Mali? And now they are fit to play game this weekend. Uh, it feels like they are prioritizing the club side more than the national team. But I'm not going to waste time into that one. I, we, you know, I'm just happy. I'm sure we are, we are all just happy that these guys are back, uh, you know, from injury and they are ready to start, uh, you know, playing games this weekend. We wish them all the best. Definitely. Osima is also one of the guys, you know, I wanted to update on this video. Uh, has been out for a number of uh, days slash weeks. And uh, right now he's going to uh, make an appearance for Napoli uh, this weekend still. Uh, after he recovered from that swollen injury that he had. And uh, so Sima is now, uh, you know, fully back in training and 
doing everything with the guys so he's hopefully going to make an appearance tomorrow against his strong atlanta sides you know as we mentioned also lukman's team and it's definitely going to be very interesting to see how our players obviously perform we wish them all the best we, you know we hope that they turn up uh, in their a games of course and put up a fine show for the spectators for the fans for we to actually you know enjoy the game uh, that's the update on that front. To see me back from injury, uh, Iwo, um, sorry, Kevin Bassi, and of course, Frank Konyeka. And then, of course, uh, another guy in the updates is uh, Stanley Mwabali. He's now, obviously, returned back to South Africa, Chippa United, of course, uh, you know, after serving in the international duty. Although I, for one, I would have loved to see Ojo in this play, which is one of the reasons why, uh, uh, you know, I think a lot of people have issues with uh, could we need this selection with actually thought he was going to play a number of people who haven't you know seen shirts for the first time with the nigerian spikers even after being called up several times the likes of ojo i would have loved to see him you know uh in between the sticks for nigeria but of course no problem stanley wabali now returned to uh, uh his club side south african chipa united and is going to very likely partake in this weekend's uh psl league that's just that's the south african league so they have a match tomorrow uh definitely he is in line to make appearance for that one and they are going to play polo Kwane city uh tomorrow it's going to be an away match and we'll see how that one turns out and uh how stanley mabali performs on that one uh, so that's the update on our guys you know and their preparations for tomorrow's game but of course uh, let me end with uh the gist about them just ekong he's been recovering really fine and of course uh good news on his front uh you know uh he had that really nasty injury to his uh to his left thigh during the african cup of nations that he had to play through the injury for most of the games he actually had that injury in the group stages uh against ivory coast and of course uh, he had to manage his tiny bandage all through the game but the good news is after he was being sidelined you know out of the season right now his recovery is going really smoothly and uh from the man himself he has hinted that he uh will very likely return from injury before we play our qualifiers game against south africa uh you know uh, uh in june which is also something very very nice to see guys we know what he does for us in, in, the, in the defense we know what how he, how rock solid he you know he is whenever he is in that back line and of course we're happy to actually uh here this sort of good news from him and aside from his recovery he's also been doing something really nice in terms of uh you know humanitarian uh activities he's now uh created a million truth econ foundation which uh is uh you know responsible for actually uh catching young ones grooming them grooming them in in sports you know actually uh training them through football education and of course a leadership role uh, you know indoctrinating them on how to become better people in the society uh, just normal basic good stuff that uh, foundations uh, do uh, uh, have and of course it's so nice to see he actually opened that one in a pipe and of course uh, lots of lots of children coming up are definitely going to benefit from uh, this humanitarian uh, deeds from uh, William Chos Ekong, we appreciate that, you know, Nigeria appreciates that, humanity definitely appreciates that, and of course, we we'll wish him all the best, uh, quick, speedy recovery. But that's the video for uh, this moment, guys. Thank you for watching this one, and uh, don't forget to uh, leave a reaction for any of the story that you feel connected to, and of course, uh, appreciate you guys uh, clicking on to subscribe to the channel if you've not done so. If you've subscribed, please do well to share the, uh, the channel. To share the video rather and of course leave a like for this one thank you guys i hope you had a lovely day and uh, i hope you will continue to have an even lovelier day take care of yourselves guys till i catch you in my next video bye